Daniel chapter 11 verse 10 Anwar El Sadat's assassination but his sons shall be stirred up and shall assemble a multitude of great forces and one shall certainly come and overflow and pass through even and then shall he return and be stirred up even to his fortress sons is the Hebrew word bane which means a son as builder of family names nation stirred up means to anger, contend, meddle, stir up strife. Anwar Sadat's pro-Western views contributed to an anti-American sentiment among the Muslim Arab world. His fall in public support and ultimately led to his assassination. Although he received strong support in the West, his popularity had the opposite effect in the Muslim world, for he stirred up his nation against him. Being the first major Arab leader to visit Jerusalem, many were outraged or stirred up by his visit because they viewed Israel as an occupier of the land of Palestine instead of a legitimate state. By signing, by signing the Camp David Accord in 1979 and 78, it was the first time that Israel's existence was recognized by an Arab country. Consequently, Egypt was expelled from the Arab League. Sadat's Sadat's pro-Western shift and his peace with Israel was viewed by many as not only a betrayal to Nasser's plan, pan-Arabism, but a betrayal to Islam itself. On, on October 6, 1981, while attending a parade in Cairo commem commemorating the Yom Kippur War which Sadat led in 1973, Anwar el-Sadat was assassinated by Islamic radicals and members of the Islamic Jihad organization in Egypt. As part of the annual parade, Egyptian jets flew in the sky and distracted the crowd. Suddenly, before Sadat was sitting, a truck halted. Many thought it was part of the parade, and a lieutenant stood to salute President Sadat. As Sadat stood to receive a salute, the assassins that had sneaked themselves into the military procession and the halted truck fired automatic weapons and grenades in the direction of, pre of the president. As the assassins, as the assassin Khalid Islam Boli approached and fired at the president, he shouted, death to the pharaoh. Unfortunately, a bullet struck its target, hitting the president in the head. Not only did the assassin struck the head of the president, but also assassinated the head of pro-Western influence among the Arab Muslim world. In all, the number of casualties were seven, with 28 survivors, including Vice President Osni Mubarak. This assassination set a precedence, for it was the first time in history that the Egyptian head was assassinated by its own citizens. Sons in the Hebrew word is the Hebrew word Bain, which means a son as builder of family names nation. Ironically and fulfilling scripture, as the assassins approached Sadat, he said to them, My sons, my sons, after being shot, and then, and then after that he was shot. To know the only Arab leader that attended his funeral was Sudan's president, Ghaffar, Ghaffar Nimri. Special note, during the trial of Sadat's assassin, Khalid Islamboli, over 300 Islamic radicals were indicted which included one of Islamic Jihad's founders, Ayman al-Zawiri, a well-educated surgeon who was very fluent in English. In 1984, Zawiri was released from prison, where he traveled to Afghanistan and formed a close relationship with Osama bin Laden, and both fought against the Soviets as U.S. supplied and trained Afghan rebels or freedom fighters, as called by President Reagan. Al Dawidi is known as one of the masterminds behind the USS Cole bombing and the attacks of September 11, 2001. Eventually, Zawidi became Al Qaeda's spokesman and in 2009 was determined to be Al Qaeda's main decision maker after Osama bin Laden's questionable death or alleged death of 2012. He became the current leader of Al Qaeda. Additional note. Some interesting facts about Anwar Sadat was that he was born on December 25th. And remember, 
he commenced his uh, office on September 28. Interesting dates. He was born on December 25, Christmas Day, and was known by many as the Prince of Peace. Wow. As you can see, we have seen many precursors, foreshadows, and types. You know, that will do it for today. You know, uh, please stay tuned for, for the rest of Daniel chapter 11. You know, you, you'll be amazed on how accurate it is. You know, and uh, also, we'll still continue our teachings on, on how Satan will come imitating the coming of Christ. So please stay tuned to those. You know, and, uh, and uh, thank you for, for, uh, your, for liking, subscribing. Thank you for your prayers, support. You know, and uh, keep on kicking dragons.